What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So it is day four of the Path of Exile 2 early access game. Okay, it is day four, and now we're starting to get to the point where we're getting into the Cruel End game, and currency is starting to kind of increase. Once you get to Cruel, I will say, for anybody, real quick, uh, before we get into this trade demonstration, for anybody who is struggling with currency, it does get better in Cruel. I will say that. It does get better in Cruel. Um, but what I will tell you is, is that there is some good farming strategies to get loot, which we will talk about in another video. But um, if you are struggling on loot, getting to cruel is very good. But early on, I will have another video on some strategies for you. So if you haven't seen it already, go check that out. Otherwise, this is a video that is just going to be about trading. We are in day four and now trading is here. And we do got to give a big shout out to the Path of Exile team or GGG because now they have path of exile to trade the trade site is here and i want to show everybody exactly how to use this so that way you can guys can get the gear and stuff that you're wanting especially if you're struggling in the game now and you have found some currency you can use this to trade and get some of the gear that you actually need so what you're going to go is go to path of exile 2.com slash trade 2 that'll pull up this site here now uh we are going to show this and just kind of break this down. Now, before we get into this, I do have a big, big thing that you guys need to pay attention to here is in Path of Exile 2, one thing that they did for trying to like stop spam trading is your very first character, whichever character you make, needs to be 25 to trade. Okay, you have to be level 25. There has been reports of people not being able to trade at lower levels, less than 25. So you need to be at least 25 on your first character to trade. And then any character after that, if they're level one, can trade with anybody. Apparently this was put in to stop spam traders. So hopefully there is that. If you guys have had any issues with trading and you're under level 25, then that is why. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the, the Path of Exile dot com slash trade to website this is the main form of trading gear okay there is an in-game uh, currency which we could talk about later but this is just for gear and we'll break down the in-game currency trade um in another video but this can also be used to trade currency as well if you'd like to use uh, these sites especially if you're a path of one exile player so for all the veterans out there, then this video isn't for you unless you just need a refresher. Otherwise, this is for a lot of the brand new players or people who aren't familiar with how to trade in this game. So um, to use this site, it's very, very simple. I know it's going to seem complicated at first, but let's go ahead and break this down. So you have search item listed. This is where you're going to be able to search any item in the game or any modifiers, anything you want, any combination, doesn't matter what it is, you can do this. The bulk item exchange is the same thing. If I want uh, chaos orbs and then I want to trade Val orbs, I select one, select the other, and then I can just hit search and it will trade me one chaos orb will be for three Val orbs and then I can play contact the person. He's got 52 chaos, insane. So, but for gear, it works the same way. So we have a few different filters over here and we're gonna kind of break these down. I don't want the video to be too long, but I'm gonna break these down and hopefully it'll make a lot of sense. So the first thing is your item category, okay? I'm going to try to zoom this in just a little bit so you guys can see. So you got your item category here, and it already has a bunch of different weapon or gear pieces. So you got any weapon, one-handed melee, claws, war staffs, crossbows, bows, whatever you want, even all of your different body gear. You could just come in here and select it. Same thing with your amulets, belts, rings, and gems, flasks, etc. Okay, so... I want a wand because I have a two-handed wand, but I want to do a wand and offhand for my sorceress. So I want a wand. The next thing is item rarity. You got any normal, magic, rare, unique, unique, or non-unique. So I want a rare one, means yellow. So I want rare. Now, if I want, I could just search this, and it's going to bring up a bunch of items. Now, before we get into the particulars of how to search for exactly what you want, just by searching those two things, it's going to bring up every wand that is yellow, and that is, or that's rare, and it's a wand, okay? So now let's go ahead and go back to the search of listed items. You can just re-click to, to search. Next, you have item level, so you can put in like, hey, I'm level 13, or right now I'm level 46, so I want at least a level 46 wand, right? I don't want it to be lower, right? I want the stats to be higher. And then you could do item quality, which like, mm, let's see, let's see if there's a minimum of 20 quality out there. There is one for 35 exalted orbs with 20 quality. Insane. Plus four level to all cold spells. 
I know you guys can't see that. I have to cut down my my thing here. But yeah, pretty insane, right? Okay, so that's too much. We don't want that. Typically, you don't want to search for quality. You can get it later, but if you do want quality, then that's fine. Same thing with the level. So I'm going to keep it open. Now, there's some other filters here that really work for like our advantage here. You can come in here and go through all of your different damages, attacks per second, evasion, whatever you want. Because if you guys don't know, on your gear, there is things called implicits that showcase like what the base is on a gear piece so this is like for a wand for example right so it's a wand it has certain implicits and explicits on here which a lot of people asked about and i'll explain in another video but it has certain attributes to the item itself so we're going to go ahead and take this off i don't really care about the the damage per tax per second we can click off that you have certain requirements that you can do here so certain requirements like, hey, I need a certain level. It needs to be, you know, certain dex, intelligence, whatever it is. If you need to be like under 25 dexterity to use this item, you can put the max at 25 dex. So that way you can find any of the items that are under 25 dex. And then that way it's on there. You come in here and search like the requirement is under 25 dex. But this is a wand, for example. So we'll change that off dex and we'll do intelligence. So let's do 25 and then we can search. And this is everything under or should be under, so there's nothing here. This is all 52, 51, 60. So this is requirements you need. Oh, that's min, I'm sorry. Let me put it to max. Max of 25, so now you can see that the intelligence is actually 25 here. So that way, if you have a skill issue with your attributes, then boom, you can search it, right? So let's take that off. The next one is waystone filters. We don't care about this. Miscellaneous, this is for gems and gem sockets. Um, if you want to add a gem socket, you can. If it's mirrored, you can search this area level. It doesn't matter. You can make it corrupted if you wanted to. Totally, totally fine. Um, the last one is trade filters, a seller account. I pretty much leave this one blank. I never actually mess with this one. It's just easier for the buyout price to make it relative. So a lot of these filters are very, very easy to use. Okay, very easy to use. You just come in, you pick, and it's going to find things that is based on that. So we're going for a wand and rare. Next, we're going to come over here to our stat filters. Now, before we get to that, keep in mind that up here, you can have a search item where you can type in whatever you want and search for a particular item that's in the game. So if we type F, for example, you can find a beacon of this solar amulet and you can find it. It's an actual item that's in the game. So if you're not searching for anything, one thing you guys need to keep in mind is these two bars right here. So POE2 is standard and hardcore. If you're not on hardcore, then you're on standard and vice versa. Next is online only, online in league and any. So right now we don't have a league yet. We're just in early access. So you put online only. So it's only going to show items of players that are actually playing the game. So if the game is not on or you're if the person who's selling an item isn't online playing the game, then their item won't show up on this trade site. So just keep that in mind. Now with that out of the way, we're going to go to stat filters. Stat filters, this is where you can search for exactly what you want, right? You want the exact implicits and explicits on your team or on your team, on your item. So when you come over here and look, for example, if I alt this, um, not implicits, I'm sorry, your exact prefixes and suffixes. So you want to get exactly what you want. So for example, I want to try to get some of these modifiers that I have on my staff on my wand. So the biggest ones that we're looking for is we can come to click this and we can do let's say a uh, plus two or plus skills have if we do plus skills have plus number to limit so if we do this and we do two right or no sorry wrong skill wrong skill take that off so let's delete that let me um let's do cold skills uh so we need to do number two cold I wonder if it's a plus. They might have changed this. Hmm. Let me go here. Oh, plus to level. So it's very particular. So it's plus to, oh, plus to level. Instead of plus, let's do two level. So if we type in two level of all spell skills, cold skills. So I'm doing cold, so I want plus to cold. Then we have a min. I want at least two. And then even with just that one modifier, now we can click search. 
So it's going to find me any yellow wand that somebody is selling that has plus two to all cold spells. Now, the other modifiers are going to be random, but it will show anything that has the plus. So come through here. You can look at this stuff and kind of just be like, oh, well, I don't know which one I want. Oh, hey, there's this corrupted one here. It has increased a mana, spell damage, plus the cold, increased crit, and gain life. Like, that's not bad, right? So uh, you're going to go through and just kind of look at this stuff. But I want to narrow my search even more. So we're going to go back to show filters, and we're going to keep that one checked, and we're going to add another one. I want spell damage is what I want. So the minimum spell damage I want is 50%. So let's search again. So now this has 89 increased spell damage, plus two level to all cold spells, and mana regen. But wait, I want to take it a step further, and I want freeze buildup. Now there is one here that has freeze buildup. So for example, this has increased spell damage, maximum mana, two to all cold spells, mana regeneration rate, freeze buildup. The only actual bad suffix here is the increased light radius. Otherwise, the rest of these modifiers is fantastic. So if I had an exalted orb, I would buy this. Okay, let me just double check. I don't even know if I have an exalted orb. I don't, right? I have a, C I have a chaos orb, though. Everybody wants exalted orbs right now because this is how we're going to kind of craft our gear, which, which I have in another video. Uh, but if I had an exalted orb, I would go buy this wand right now. I wouldn't even change anything else. I would just buy this because this wand is actually insane. It's a very good wand at like in, it's just really good. So let's say I wanted to buy this wand. It shows the exact price here. So it's one exalted orb. So if I have one exalted orb, I would want to go buy it. It shows the player in their name and it shows how long ago they listed it now to to do a trade, we would direct whisper this person. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do a trade. So because I do not have, I do not, because I do not have an exalted orb, we can come over here and change the currency of how we actually want to buy this item. So you're going to come over here to trade uh, under the search listed items. Trade filters come down to the buyout price, and you're going to click the relative button. And now you can choose. So I'm going to choose, let's say, chaos orb, and then I'm going to search. So now I find somebody with one C who's willing to sell this item and it's plus three. However, now that we can change the price, let's go ahead and look for exactly what we want. So, all right, guys. So we found a wand by searching and using a different form of currency and we chose Orb of Alchemy. I just wanted to search just so we could find one. And I could show you a wand that I actually wanted and I could show you in the trade. So I found the wand that I want. It has increased spell damage, maximum mana, plus two level to all cold spells. Mana per enemy killed, which is really nice. And then freeze buildup, which is what I want. So it's one orb of alchemy. I have two. It's by this guy listed a day ago. Now I'm going to, he's online, shows online. If he was like away, it would show like away. If it was, if he was not online, this item would not be shown. So we're going to click direct whisper. It sent it. Now you guys are going to see on my screen here, if I close my camera, you see this message here where it says, hey, I want to buy your wand. So he sends me an invite. I'm going to click accept. Okay. And when I click accept, now I'm in his party and I just need to go to his uh, location. So I can't go to where he is. So I'm just going to whisper him. So now I can teleport to him. We got it figured out. So he's here and now he should come over and trade me. So all he's going to do is do the trade. I'm going to give him the orb of alchemy and he's going to give me the wand. Okay. Uh, yes. So make sure when the wand is put in here that you add it, right? You highlight over it. He gets that. And then you accept. Boom. Now I have this wand. I can't use it till 58, but that's okay. I'm 46, but that's okay. For the purposes of the video, I wanted to show the trade. So now I have this awesome wand and now all I got to do is get to the requirements to actually use it. So it makes trading very, very easy. Let's go to my stash. We're going to go down to, down to here, and I can put my wand in here. So on the trade, now this thing is gone. Super easy. I should have put a level requirement in there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, guys, this is how you trade on the trade site. It's very simple to use. You can toggle stuff on and off. You can change how you want to uh, search for currency. You can pick out anything that you guys want. This trade site also applies to when you're selling things. So in my stash, I have a sell tab. You do need to use a premium sell tab for this, 
But on here, I have one exalt orb for this exact item. Same thing here. This is three exalts, but I'm actually going to change this down to two. Or you know what? Maybe I should put it to one. Let's put it to one and see if it sells. And then the same thing will happen if you're trying to sell. So in a premium stash tab, you will go to try to sell this. Right? You put it in here. You're going to right click on your stash and make sure it's public, which means that you can sell it. You'll make each item individually priced, right? And then you just hit check mark and you come in here, right click on your item, exact price, whatever the amount is, and you can pick the currency that you're selling it for, which is pretty sweet. So like I almost would want to sell these for three regals or something. Um, but yeah, so guys, that's how you use the trade site. That's how you buy and sell with Path of Exile 2 trade. Okay, if you guys have any questions, Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have questions about this trade site. If you're using it, if you have anything else, I'd be happy to answer. Make sure to like the video, guys. It does help out with the algorithm on the channel. So I'd very much appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new, guys. As always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.